Hello and welcome to Outreach's Plays for Plain Pacific Drive. It's been a while. Welcome back to the channel if you've uh, if you've been here before, and welcome to the channel for the first time if you're new. Now, Pacific Drive. I have seen people play this before. <laughs> purple. I've seen purple people play this before. So I have spoiled myself a little bit. But if you're new to the game, I'm not going to tell you anything about that. Uh, let's just jump in. I'm going to start a new game, and you can watch the intro cinematic with me while I shut the heck up, and then. We'll just go. I'm just going to press start. I think the default settings are probably fine. I'll read it for you. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumours of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. Ooh. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. <clears throat> For 30 years, the zone's borders grew, until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. So, 1985. What happened inside? was never disclosed. Get in manifest. Knock first. <clears throat> Deliver, unload, clean. Okay. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998. Wow. Lights on. Lights on. Wipers on. Wipers on. We're in drive. Press W. W to go. Nice. South of the barrier wall. Best break. Yeah. Good brakes. Good cage brakes. So we can look around independently of driving, which is very nice because... Um, Independent of steering, I should say. Because if you played games like E.G. Borderlands, where not only do they... Well, in theory, there's a way of having... Looking separate to driving from... Uh, in Borderlands, but... It doesn't flipping work. So you end up... Messing around and going the wrong way. We are driving... Like idiots right now, by the way. But I think we're supposed to be on this side of the road, based on... The fact that it's... America. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna not... I don't care. There's, uh, there's music, but I don't have a radio that I can interact with. That's okay. Seat toggle wipers. That's handy. Probably should look at the road ahead and, and break the corners. <clears throat> I have a certain uh, style of driving in driving games, which is where I just hold down the go button, and then occasionally I hold down the turn button, uh, and if the go button is making the turn button not really work. I just bounce off the edge until it gets me back on the road. Now, I may have to um, consider my strategy for this game. It doesn't sound very, you know, it doesn't sound like it's going to work. Not very conducive to a, a, a good driving game. It's just because there's not, there's not going to be many walls uh, on. If, a lot of this is off roading. I was almost tempted to try playing with the controller. I chose not to. But I think controlling the car would be excellent with the controller. But uh, controlling the character when I'm out of the car would be a pain. Am I supposed to be going this way? This road has not been maintained. Where am I even going? I want to look at my shipping manifest now. I want to look at my delivery instructions. <clears throat> Z, top of the headlines. Then we've got Z and C. What does X do? <laughs> That's in between them. It's not raining in here, so I'll just turn those off. I do like weather effects in games. I'm <clears throat> pleased that there are some. Is it still raining? I don't think it's still raining. Oh, it's gone fuzzy. I like these gentle introductions with sort of tutorialization on the way. This game has already told us everything we need to know about it. Hello? 
Oh, I guess I'm going this way. I I feel like I've drawn the short straw as a courier in this situation. Well, like, <clears throat> why have I been sent to what is clearly the uh, Olympia exclusion zone? To run an errand for where? Disappearing rocks in it. This is leaking. You know, what could possibly be down here that I need to deliver to anybody? In this, this van, which is clearly not capable of the situation. What is this? Uh, can you just hold on a second? Sorry, this is just me uh, being... Why are there separate horizontal and vertical sensitivities? That's strange. Never seen that before. Can I just keep them the same? Seemed a little bit slow. Yeah, what hit me? Don't know. Yeah, what... <clears throat> What, you, what is happening that I need to drive down this dirt track to deliver a goodness knows what to goodness knows whom? I don't like that these rocks keep exploding. <laughs> I think that's what happened. I was on an exploding rock. You're right, rocks. Is this normal for this area? You just turn around and go home, wouldn't you? Job be damned. No? Job be damned. Um, yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> what? Oh, I've been eaten. It's like the. It's like the teleporters in Doom. Doom 3. Play that? You ever play that? Should have played that. People disparaged Doom 3, but it was... I think it was good. It was of its time. It was an excellent sort of <clears throat> reimagining of the concept of Doom. I, I, it had a few jump scares in it, but you know, it's Doom, isn't it? It's not artisanal horror. I'm awake. And there are floating rocks. And the floating wheel. I think that was probably that wheel may have once been my uh, van. Gets to safety. <laughs> Shift to sprint. All right. That way or this one? I feel like I'm being sent this way, but I don't want to go down there. All right, let's go up there. <clears throat> Can we sprint indefinitely? Find transportation. Well, like, there is some, but uh, unfortunately it's floating around in chunk. Whoa. Uh, it's, it's a bit chunky. Can I sort of put, put my van back together? From the floaty... Oh, there's the thing I was supposed to be delivering, I suppose. Uh, uh, I guess I'll go down here. Did I miss something? I don't know. Now, one thing I do know is that night time in this game can be extremely dark. There's an option to brighten nights. Hey, isn't this a uh, fire watch? <clears throat> there's an option to fri uh, frighten nights. It's scary nights. Uh, brighten nights, which I may turn on if it turns out that it's too dark in the videos, but... It's a, it's a bit of a sort of a compromise, really, between the, <coughs> the, the experiencing the game as it's meant to be and actually being able to see what is happening. F. Hit. Don't even have a, a foot, have you noticed? <laughs> it would have been cool if there was a, a kick animation when you kicked. Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Hello? Uh, what a swan, eh? uh, You're winking at me. This car's winking at me. Oh, it's a hold down sort of game. <clears throat> right, because this is a this is a, a console game as well as a you know computer game. So there's a certain amount of <clears throat> there's a certain amount of interaction that involves uh, considering what it would be like with a console, basically. You know, there's there's holding down buttons instead of just using a different button. Uh, right, you have to put it in gear. I'm going to forget how to drive this car a lot. How am I supposed to know?
Wait, have I got two lights or one light? Maybe one? <coughs> don't have a transmitter. I'm the I'm the player from Zorp Grand Inquisitor. Oh, here I am. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble your. I've just been driving this whole time. Is that okay? <laughs> Hey look, I've got a compass which actually seems to work. I wanna press shift to boost. No. <laughs> no night just on this car. Are we what's happening? Siphon fuel, right? We have streamer friendly music by the way. Uh check your fuel trunk for a can. Uh okay, right. Look, we've got a learn a lot about this game. The first thing is, you don't just get out of the car. You put it in park. And then you get out of the car. How many lights have you got? Yeah, just one. Okay. What? That's Goopy. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Goopy. <clears throat> this will happen a lot. I will forget that you're supposed to put it in park. I like how this fuel can just comes with the side. <laughs> what? This is standard. This is this is normally how it works, is it? And good news: there appears to have been no dropped frames so far. Although there's been a little bit of glitchiness in general. Uh, fill your tank, loser. There it is. There's a tiny can. Oh. We just have to, okay. 40% is as much as we get. What are you in? Ooh, hello. Probably get out then. <laughs> Probably let's go, huh? Uh, let's put in drive. Don't like the idea of having to... It's off! It turned off! Don't like the idea of having to, uh, you know, hold the button down to change gear, but we'll get, we'll get the hang of it. Now, there are quality of life options that you can change. Um, one of which is to automatically change gear for you. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No kidding. What a be? A remnant? A remnant? There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. Remnants? What we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Yeah, we're doing 40 miles an hour. No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. You think that'd be one of the main things that continues to work, right? First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Just lots of little explosions. Oh dear. Find that. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. Uh shelter, go on and let yourself in. I like that effect. It's like when they burn the cotton tree. Gunk. Caution. Keep out. But <laughs> you see where I am. Uh, east. Okay. What is west? Hang on. I'm supposed to head east. Okay, I need to know. Because that looks like where I want to be, right? Let's find out. Yeah, the streamer-friendly music is really good in this game. That's one thing I will sort of spoil ahead of time. No, I am supposed to go this way. Then what was that? Let's find out. Maybe, okay. <laughs> Maybe following that road would have just brought me out here anyway. Yeah, it's the same place. 
Hopefully it's auto shot. Looks like I would have ended up here. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. A bit blowy, innit? I do love weather effects, as I've, as I've mentioned. When they're done well, anyway. I remember playing World of Warcraft and feeling like I was actually getting drenched when the rains came down in, in whatever the fucking place was called, I can't remember. And that wasn't nearly as good as this. Those, those effects. Right, let's just drive in. What the heck with this? <laughs> I think there was a wheel next to this car. Huh? Imagine a remnant car that just showed up in this area. I, I, I arrive here. Find a way into the building. All right, I guess we get out of it. Should turn the car off actually. So you can uh, you can open the door without getting in, but apparently you can't do anything without getting in anyway. So good to know. Uh, turn it off. Put it in park. <clears throat> get out of the car. What was I saying? Uh -huh. Who cares? No one knows. Fish, fish. Alright. Just gonna go in the door that was clearly wide open. Oh, I was saying, imagine if like you'd got dragged into here and you were the first breacher in however long they were saying and you found the first remnant in however long they were saying and there was just no extra wheel, so that's the end of your journey. <laughs> Shut that door, there's a draft. Turn the power on. Uh, why is my... What's wrong with my eyes? Why does my head feel funny? Pick up the backpack from the table. Ah, oh, God. Who's there? Oh, shut up. I can't let this be breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Oh, my head. I've got no way. Uh, Luckily, I was one. This want... message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. But... We send a preacher to your garage on um, uh, official zone business. Now we have it on very so good business. that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and well, uh, the whole... Get off the remnant thing. She's not going to care. Um, uh, right, like you said, super official Beep, zone bleep. business. Protocol uh, demands nice. that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written at this 10 one? years and 17 no. volumes and... Oh, God, that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. Well, now it works. Hey. So, I was trying to do things in the wrong order. Another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand? That's what I was saying. Well, it's kind of a bit of both, you know? I, just I was close to this wall, which was obviously being weird. So it just pull itself in the wall. Barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop. Yes, yeah, so perfect parking. Open headset OS. Sure. Logbook. Nice. Okay. Car abilities. Certain components and equipment that you will install on your car have abilities that need to be activated. You can assign controls up to four of these using the small panel on the left side of your dashboard. In-car controls. You can steer, brake, reverse, shift, park, drive, turn, use the key. This would all else fail, honk the horn. <laughs> you can Is there an ignition button? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll learn together. Uh... Landing's car, here we go. Throttle, brake, shift, F, control, space, honk horn, wipers, headlights, radio. There's no ignition button, which is the the two things that you're definitely going to do all the time are turn the car on and off and change gear. Uh, and yet, they are not bangable. Right, well, it's blinking this at me, so let's have a look. Right, crude door. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal, both open and close. That's what I want doors to do. It'll also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. Uh, what is this? 
Oh, just said plus C. Pin to checklist. Which is... Where? Oh, on the left. Look at that. Search the abandoned car's trunk. So the to-do is <clears throat> the stuff that I need to make the door and then the sort of a long... Uh, So e, e okay, e question. Search the toolbox by the garage door or a cry, a cry bar. Okay, it's it's it's, it's hold to open. Uh, we'll take the uh, 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 okay, you can transfer materials but not items. What is this? Uh, mechanics kit. Cool. Do I have to do this probably? And then left click here. Point. Nice. Uh, and, and then some things. Uh, come back. Thank you. Radical. Uh, we need some duct tape. We need other stuff. Search the dumpster by the garage for crucial items you're unable to craft. Hello? <laughs> a, a lit torch. Thank you. Ooh, it gave me a scrapper. I can just pick it up. And it goes out. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, did, did we get anything? More stuff, please. Scrap the abandoned... Oh, you said no. Scrap the bits. Apologies for the computer pausing quite a lot. I, I've got a really good graphics card, which can record the video as it's happening. But I haven't got a really good CPU to back it up. Uh, just... So this is, um, okay. we'll, we'll learn about this later. In theory, I could probably repair this, just had a flat, but also, would I need to? Don't know. You've got fuel in you, I think. What have you dropped? <laughs> anyway. Uh, we need some more juice. Plastic, maybe? Yeah, we've got enough stuff. There we go. I've got to actually pick this up. <laughs> My brain was telling me that scrapping the stuff was giving it to me. Craft a crude door in the shop. But no, it drops it on the floor. Uh, crude door. Craft, please. Missing ingredients. Uh, oh, it's in my hand. That's handy. Yay! Uh, repair the car body. Get the repair putty from the locker. I will. Oh, the locker. Oh, the wheel. Spare tire. Oh, that's bigger than I thought it was. Alright, well, just take that. Take this as well. In fact, let's put all of this away. Hi! Trans oh, yeah. So the side you're pointing at is a side that the T transfer materials applies to. I appreciate that. Uh, equip repair putty. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Tab, not E. Oh, come on. And then repair the parts. Uh, this one maybe? Good start. What else is broken? I can probably deal with the bumper later. This door seems important. This panel seems important. You'd think this panel was important, but the equivalent panel on the other side just doesn't exist. <laughs> Storage crafting. Fuel can, which is empty. You know what? Give me this. Oh, it's called trunk gunk. Of course it is. Did that break, or did I? Yeah. I moved to see if the rubber would bend, and it just sort of... Uh, right, what else are these? Fixing. Maybe that wheel? Maybe this wheel. Hold up. That's looking good. Oh, Alright, we'll do the bumper. Why the heck not? Uh, that was one of my putties, I think. 98... Oh, come on, 97%. Wash. Hooray! Fix the flat tire. Scan the flat tire. See. 
Hold it. Hold it. Everything's hold. Right. Uh, replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. All right. Do you know what? I'm gonna have to put some things in the locker. Uh, now I don't know if we can do this in one click. R to remove. Bosh. Uh, okay. Is that the right one? No. I think I ended up uh, next to drop, and then pick this. Okay. It de-equipped the one that I had in my hand. Scan the loose wheel. Oh, that's this one. Not that one, which is a loose wheel. Bleep, bleep. Get the mechanics toolkit from the toolbox. I've already done that, and I put it in the locket. See, I'm ahead of you, game, and also confuse myself. Fix the mechanics kit. Fix the mechanics kit. Yeah, that's how this works. Fish, fish. And job done. Outfit the car. Okay. The store cardboard boxes in trunk. What's this now? Cardboard boxes. I'll pick them up. I'll put them down. See, it's E to pick it up, but it's left click to install it. That's kind of weird. Install craft map in trunk. Careful. You get used to the controls. Install arc device and passenger suit. Right? There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. I'm sure, it'll be fine somewhere. I like how it's a prototype. <laughs> this beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your north star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the father, son, and holy spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Okay. Get first aid kits from the locker. There's another locker. That is just so interesting. There we go. Why don't you live down there? That makes sense, doesn't it? Probably take this with me. I've got cardboard boxes now, so I can just fill them up. You, you, you come with me. Yeah. Store items for your drive. Okay. I'll put them in the car. Just here, have everything. Satisfy the stupid thing. Can I make another panel, please? I haven't got a boot. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Oh, the front garage door. That's over here. It is a gear. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint. I've done that as well. Look at me. Amazing. Use the pump. Okay, I could have done that. Uh, hold the button. There we go. Where's the nozzle hole? There it is. Uh, I believe there is an infinite amount of fuel in here. Also, on the bottom left there, where it says fuel nozzle, it has an X and a backpack, which seems to me to say you can't put this in your bag. That's, I like that. It's, it's good to know. Uh, boom! If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. You didn't mean look at the projector, did you? You meant look at what it's projecting, didn't you? You fool. Is that actually projecting anything? It's not even on. Uh, what? Fruit planet. Yes. This is the zone. Now it's projecting. Within these borders, oh, clever. matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. Obviously. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. Mild grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. Instability. Because it's unstable. By it, and once you've watched it, unstable. Through an entire mountain range, Stupid language. You understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. Yay. And that's Lucky. what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If Dark. we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. This is slow as well. Until then, we have to change the speed. to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. Mm. So, you've got to go hunting That's for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The off device in your car will then show you where you need to go. 
Obviously, that's how things work. Every change of conditions in the zone can dramatically alter both the environment and the many things you may encounter out there to plan ahead. Present B. Junction conditions. Pass. Okay. So there are atmospheric shifts. Anomaly density. Wait, what? Oh, right. Okay. Select destination. Guess we're going here. Select destination using the map. Oh, hang on. This is what confused Avac as well. Oh, no, you have to hold it down. <laughs> no. So you do have to hold it down. Can we even get enough stuff to make another fruit panel, for example? Scrap metal, plastic, duct tape. We haven't got any of these things. I'm, I think that's counting what's in here. Because I, I haven't got anything in my backpack, so it must be. Can we break anything else down like the door for example <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go for a drive with a very cold car I'll have a bit of an explore whilst we're here wouldn't you homely sold out 13.9 pence cents uh, it's rude, isn't it? Fuel should never be that cheap. Even taking into account the differences in flipping like inflation and what have you, right? Can I scan it? Yeah. And I get a lot. Well, what haven't we read yet? Planning a drive. Use the map on the walls with the auto shop to plan your next drive across the zone. Along each route, you'll find different resources and find strange hazards, so make sure to choose your path carefully. Choose between revisiting known junctions to gather more resources, charting new routes deeper into the zone, or taking investigative drives to uncover the story behind why you're here. I'm here because a big sucky thing pulled me into a wall. While on foot, you can walk, run, crouch, and jump. You can also pick up, drop, throw, and kick items so long as you come across, you come across any buttons and keypads. Feel free to press away. You can remap these controls in the options. Okay, I don't know. Why is this not... Okay. It says there's something new in here. Oh, there is. Look. The Auto Shop is your base of operations. You're safe there, so you can take your time. Fine. Once you've selected your route, make sure to prepare for the drive. Pack the tools, backup supplies, and parts you'll need and head out from the garage. Be careful on your journey. The car has an emergency protocol that will save your life, but very little else. The car has an... This is random, by the way, whatever that is. Uh... Riding a shotgun with you is perhaps the most ramshackle and yet remarkable example of technology that you've ever seen. It can monitor the zone, ingest anchor energy, and casually teleport the entire car and all its contents across a short distance. It may be a work of genius, it may be extremely illegal stolen technology, or it may very well be, very well be both sort of chemicals. The sort of domestic substances that are not only nominally inert, just waiting for a household chemist with a dangerously narrow amount of knowledge to truly bring them to life. Little knowledge is a dangerous thing. A perfectly usable chunk of this brittle but hard-wearing substance, glass. Glass has a dozen potential applications from windows to optics, plastic. Plastic drink scans. One of the most useful and ubiquitous sub substances ever created, this handful of polymers has a thousand different applications and will likely outlive us all. Rubber. Loose pieces of synthetic rubber. Taken from seals, tyres, rings and belts. Much of this could be recut and repurposed. Scrap metal, an assortment of irregular and damaged sections of steel, all of which could be easily recycled and reused. Duct tape, everyone's favourite. The adhesive properties of this industrial strength product are not to be underestimated. It both attaches items and removes skin with terrifying tenacity. Road flare, cheap, equipable light source, useful in a pinch. This powerful potassium-based incendiary burns bright and burns brief even in the wettest of conditions. Door. It's just a door. Somehow this poorly sealed door can barely defeat a draft, yet it's still sturdy enough to deter just about any trespasser. Like me. Tools. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that's a lot. Impact hammer. Not every natural resource can be carefully extracted. Sometimes you need some pneumatically assisted brute force. This captive bolt device is ideal for fracturing crystals, dislodging deposits, or just smashing. Car maintenance. It says 4 of 11, by the way. First aid kit. 
and improvised bandages. This will do until you can patch yourself up with the auto shop. Tear into anything and everything out there with this voracious homemade tool. Reduce items to raw materials in moments and walk away feeling mighty. And the pry bar. Is it a pry bar or is it really your first chance to try the subtle art of lock picking? After all, this is for the cautious, careful opening of closed containers. Not for the cautious. For the cautious, careful opening. They may simply seem larger than conventional lock picks or require a little more force. Dr. 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 Fuelcan, a handy, yeah, hand portable container that was as emergency refill. It's not enough to fill a car's tank, but it can make all the difference on a long trip. Battery jumper, ramshackle but effective. Carefully connect this single use device to any failing automobile battery and stand clear. All the most essential items and equipment that allow a mechanic to do their job. Mechanics kit. You'll want a few of these on standby to handle engine or wheel trouble. Ceiling kit. Say goodbye to holes and leaks by furiously, even frantically patching them with this hastily assembled collection of materials. Then ask yourself why you would take talking to a hole, which is in fact the absence of something. Repair putty. When you don't have time or resources to form, exten form extensive repairs, this is the spit and tape solution that will carry you through and fix up the worst of things. I'm not going to read all these. Just check. <laughs> summer tire. Oh my sweet summer tire. How little you know about the rigors of the road ahead. Spare tire. What is conventionally known as a spare tire is really a whole entire spare wheel. Still, who wants to break with convention and start quibbling over details? I have a spare wheel. Because I used to have uh, basically repair putty that you put in a burst tire. And I thought, hang on a minute. If my tire is so badly damaged that I can't even use this stuff, I'm going to be stuck. So I've placed it with an entire spare wheel. Cost a fair bit. Work out of the back of your car with this rudimentary set of equipment. While it may not be as good as what you have in the garage, it will work in a pinch and allow you to craft basic items. Arc dock. This enhanced version of the arc device is able to administer rudimentary pain relief and first aid to the occupant of the driver's seat. However, the energy this requires will put a substantial drain on the battery. You still remain unsure. This device is a work of genius. Extremely legal. Right, handbrake. I haven't got one. With one swift tug of a lever, you can lock up the car's rear wheels and convert some of your momentum into a skid. May even press any anomalies that are watching. Cardboard boxes. In Britain, they call this area the boot of the car, but they didn't win the War of Independence, did they? Well, I'm not sure either of us won, to be fair. Now over 300 million Americans are free to call the back of storage of the automobiles whatever they like. How's that for humor? <laughs> you mean humus? A gear. What has teeth in the bite but no jaw? Probably lost things, actually. This gear is one of them. Equipment. Sorry. Office custom built headset. Using it to scan objects will provide you with more information about the zone. Its mechanics eye diagnostic tool will tell you everything you need to know about your car's status. Asterisk. Solid and sturdy, even though this back this pack isn't the biggest, it still boasts a reasonable amount of space in which you can tightly pack all sorts of tools and equipment. Uh look, let's play the game. <laughs> we'll come back to those. If you're interested, I will probably get to them later. Get in the car. Get in the car! Uh, do I need fixing them? No. Ain't got no radiations either. That's good. Alright, turn the car on. Car dashboard, excuse me. Your vehicle status can be tracked by watching the gauges on the dashboard as well as lights and other devices installed around the car. The center console displays the health and safety of each car component. The radiation monitor lets you know how safe it is to get out of the car, and if it's anything but a flat line, exit with caution. In the passenger seat, there's a screen with a map where you can see your location and key points of interest. As you drive, keep an eye on the car's structural integrity, its fuel and battery levels, and the various warning lights and orange lights signal to developing problem. Red calls for immediate action. Okie dokie. That's these. Look, the doors are open. Why is it telling me the doors are open? I mean, park is open. Alright, guess we'll go. Get on road. Uh, I will tell you now, there's nothing over there. I know what you're thinking. Turn right, discover what's there. There's nothing there. Okay. So this is the battery on this thing over here. Um, it will, over time, discharge. The car does not have an alternator, apparently. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Look, petrol stability. And a whole bunch of stuff we don't know. Oh, look. Right, so this over here is what the other thing was telling us, but there was no information about this area when we were looking at the map on the wall. But now, everything's okay. And there's none for resource density. Let's see. No resources? If you say so, let's go. Yeah, I've driven. <laughs> it took us hours, but it just was a little... 
I love that in those old films where travel was just a red line across the map. That has been parodied endlessly ever since. But that's a fun bit. I'm going to play to the end of this first section and then we'll finish. It's good to have a, the first Yukarish shield. Um, it's good to have a sort of... A, I'm not reading all this. <laughs> this is too much stuff. Okay, newbie. I'm talking. Okay, fine. Too late. I didn't, um, okay, look. This ain't good. I'm just gonna get out in the rain. Because you made me do this. But actually, I want all this stuff. <laughs> You made me take it out. I want it in my hands. Uh, fine. Uh, on. Well, why did it make me put the stuff that I'm going to need in the, the cardboard box? Scan it. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. An impact hammer. Right, so that's going to be two gears. Oh, look, there's a subset. You seem very excited for something you're not doing. Your car can protect you from the radiation anomalies and there are many other dangers of the zone, but only as long as it's in good condition. Keeping the doors closed and car parks in good condition will give you a defendable barrier in the zone. If your car's health meter drops into the red, you'll be at risk. There are many ways to make repairs on the go. Be sure to check your crafting options to see what you can replace and you may find helpful tools as you rummage around in the zone. Crafting. Craft tools and parts, blah blah blah. You can craft on the go in your car's trunk. More advanced items will require your workbench. enough gas cylinders, we haven't got enough screws. Well, we haven't got nearly enough scrap metal because we need to use a bunch of it to make a gear. It's very loud out there! I hope that the audio balance is okay. It's obviously... I hope that you can't close the door. Look, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> let, me, let me shut the door. Um, because, you know, my headphones are not the same volume as the the, the game's body was in the video, so I have no idea. A toilet. The other one didn't have a toilet, <laughs> so if you really need to go, you have to come back here. How's that doing? Right, we need a couple more bits of scrap metal and we can make the wasp you call it. Oh, I can scale everything as well, look at that. Supply containers. See, I thought that would give me the Ooh, zone conditions. Whenever you make it through unusual conditions or sudden shifts in the zone, your logbook will be updated with information about what just happened. Study these entries carefully. They can offer essential information that will keep you both safer and better informed. This one? Anomalies. Conditions. Perfect possibility. The instability storm will not be chasing you here unless summoned. Just the normal storm. What sort of day have I brought myself? Look at this. We go in here. We can probably get some uh, bits and bobs. Yay! I'm just going to destroy everything at this stage. Mostly because it's. Uh, well, maybe I could have kept a spare tire. Anyway. 
Oh, we'll check the, check the stuff inside it first. It is possible, I believe, that if you break the panel, the boot cover itself, without checking inside it, you can damage stuff in it. Yeah, let me know. Because it's saving my life. More obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist. <laughs> What's that phone made of? That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. But we know all about the past remnants. And oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle and the tea that came out of that thing. Oh. Well, the change so the time. will be recorded nice. and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Huh. It does seem a bit talkative, I'll grant, grant you that. It's got plenty of stuff, but... We could be scanning all the things, by the way. Okay. Oh, it's got... Oh. It has a, a closed eyeball. Maybe we've already scanned it? I don't know. It just says scan process interrupted. There's only so much you can learn from it. Oh, it's nice to be out of the weather, isn't it? It's quite a nice day when you get right down to it. Rex's car. Is that in... Oh, that would be. Rex's car. Supply containers. Private field notes, Dr. Everett... Right, there's going to be law in these, by the way, so we should read them. Private field notes, Dr. Everett, date unknown. Our time is up, it seems. As much as we might try, we cannot abandon the zone faster. We are leaving so much behind. Each day we are instructed to close another lab and junk everything there, or to mark it for what they call recycling. But we know no such recycling will happen. We may as well loot our own equipment. We dash out the door, leaving our things on the table, our experiments half finished, our logs incomplete. We're creating a ghost town in our wake. Even the whole series of ghost towns. A ghost nation, if you will. Our own Mary Celeste, a record of our last moments. Frozen in time. Private field notes. Dr. A. F. Kingi, data known, plasma generator. As we continue to explore viable energy solutions in the increasingly unstable environment that is the zone, we have begun testing the first handheld plasma containment devices. <laughs> in a zone plagued with radiation, <clears throat> instability, electromagnetic interference, and as many as yet unexplained phenomena, any infrastructure created for energy transmission has proven to be all but useless. Hence our investigations into the potential of charged and even magnetized plasma, studying both the conductive and capacitive qualities of the samples we have obtained. Plasma would likely be far more efficient than the diesel and gasoline we've been forced to haul from place to place, and if the latest research from the Limtech team is to be believed, we may soon have a way to make it just as portable. At present, we await updates from Dr. Essid as she finalizes her report on Birkeland currents. Arda management are keen for it, us to test this technology in the field as soon as possible, but we don't believe it is yet ready. They are, as ever, simply trying to rush research and save money. Wrecked car. Teletype auto script. Arda Rev Hansen, R1655-11259. I told him not to bring his own car. I told him the feds would give him a loaner or cover his rental expenses. What does he do? He brings his car. His own car. From Delaware. From Delaware. How long does it last? How long do you think it lasts? They're like vultures. They're like wicked vultures. Something over here is blinking at me. Do you see that? Do you see that? Look at that. Dumpster. Not quite sure what that is. Uh, I don't know, but okay. I left the radio one. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Is it fine? It's probably fine. Right. We can craft 
to impact hammer. Uh, error, refined materials. Craft. 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 Nice. Not every natural resource can we do now. Right, we've got an impact hammer. Quick slots. Can they pick tools or axes? Yeah. Ah, uh, no. So we go up here, fish the thing, and we fish the thing. And it lags out a little bit. That's fine though. Let's have a look at plasma. Let's get in the car. <laughs> Let's... Did we get in the car? No, we don't need to get in the car. Uh, put all that in. And... Hold it. Does the wipers are going. Who said the wipers could go? Why does it think the doors are open? <laughs> There's a lot of this. Plasma. Small, tightly sealed container containing an extremely conductive material composed of mostly highly charged particles. Do not open this. Now, certain dried up canned foods can last a remarkably long time in storage. In expiry days, only have a guide, right? I, I tend to treat that as the case when it comes to canned foods, yes. Did I not turn it off? Sure, I turned it off. And I put it in park. Why is it all backwards? I did both of those things. I will check the video evidence, but I'm sure I did both of those things. Replace parts. You know what? Let's we should check if we can replace parts. Don't know what that does, but I did it. Uh, can we make a panel? Yes. Where is it? <laughs> Put it in your yeah, hand. You fool. That's just a bumper. Right? Can we make a door? Yes. It's done. You press an E to go to my inventory. I keep clicking on this thinking that it um will stay in my thing, but it doesn't. Can we make a bumper? Not quite. We need way more scrap metal. That's kind of unsurprising when I come to think about it. That has a fracture on it. Did you notice that? Look at that another time. Beep boop. Okay. It told me... To, look, I have to get more plasmas because I used it. Oh, actually, isn't the one back there? Let's go back. Kind of hard to look backwards <laughs> in this car. There was a second one. Did I only find one piece of plasma in all of that? Ooh. Sodium vapor light. So if you're going to be mean about bricks, I'm going to say all your words wrong, okay? Resources. FA All Staff, December 28th, 1975. Further to my correspondence of the 24th, I'm writing to advise each and every one of you that the forthcoming disco time will not be going ahead. Moreover, I'm extremely disappointed that I find it necessary to remind all employees that inappropriate and unauthorized use of our equipment is very obviously a violation of organization policy, not to mention profoundly unprofessional. The lighting rigs, arrays, spotlights, and racks that we have requisitioned are precisely calibrated. Scary. Precisely calibrated. Specially constructed magnetically shielded sodium devices that are both very sensitive and extremely expensive. They are specifically designed to work in zone conditions for remote deployment to withstand radiation and EMP. They are not for modifying with coloured filters, rainbow banners, or beat synced variable resistors. Frankly, I am appalled that I have to compose a memo such as this, and when I find those responsible, which I shall, rest assured, there will be severe consequences. This is the Olympic exclusion zone, not Miami Beach. See, I keep feeling that... Oh, hold tab and it goes to it. Gotcha. Can I, like...
Bash Shards and what? Copper wire. I was sure that I saw a piece of chemical come out of that. Yeah, look. Pressurized cartridge. Where's the other one? I'm sure I saw another pressurized cartridge. Did I already get it? No. I thought I saw a second one, but okay. Number four. Oh, there isn't another one here. Thought there was. Does this work on this? No. Very well. However, there is some more scrap metal right here. And we'll open this. Going. Take all that, thank you very much. And this. Bits of this and bits of that. It's going to break in a minute, but that's okay. We can make more. Probably. Grand. Gradly. We should have a look at this spare tire, by the way. Oh, it's a summer tire. I can't pick it up. It's attached. Okay. Well, I'll wreck it. I thought I might be able to pick that up. Hello? Big buzzy noise. Right, you in there. Uh, we're going to want a new scrapper. Do I want a door or a panel? I've got a door. I want a bumper. Do I have enough panels? Yeah, I think so. Make a bumper then. Fish. Nice. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, car. Well, we need to check that, actually. Let's, uh, I'm just going to get that quick while I'm here. I want to have a look at this. Because it says it is the ceiling kit, right? So... See if we can make one. Have we got one? No. I'm actually going to put this away. What's that? Kind of small one. Uh, we'll craft a ceiling kit. It looks like if you hold down click on here, it crafts it anyway. You don't have to do it the slow way. But I am doing it the slow way. Bosh. Nice. Uh, everything else seems good. Shut that door. There's a draft. I'm already taking... This is... This game. <laughs> They're like, you're going to get attached to your car and there's nothing you can do about it. And me, as a player, nah, what are you talking about? I'd do what I want. And I'm uh, in the field trying to take care of my car. So... Just leave, mate. Get some more plasma. I saw a zappy thing down here. my car alone. Hang it. Uh, how do I throw this thing? Right click. Okay. Then. Tracked an anomaly with a light source. <laughs> That's a, an achievement, apparently. Let's have a, a quick look at this and stop trying to drag things around. Um, Dear Maggie, once again, I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly, but me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened, top secret things and all, but we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground or right on a ridge. I'll send this as soon as we get back to the barracks and write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture I sketched it out. 
while we were waiting. If there's one thing we love up here, however, it's a heck of a view. Now, I thought that these losers wouldn't um, try and drag me away unless I was moving. But apparently they just steal any old metal. <laughs> Back on the road again. Where's the road? There it is, thank you very much. This car's got a very um, narrow field of view, I think. Maybe it's because it was on. Just turn it off and see if that helps. Maybe I'll um, give them one to play with any old way. Just for now, there you go. Just in case you get close again. I don't think they'll catch me. Not entirely sure. You still got that. <laughs> You're still playing with the flare. That's quite funny. It's so. There we go. Drink all the stuff. Lights out. Gorilla video. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Take all of this. Thank you. It's gonna break. Boom. Oh, it replaced it straight away by a new one. Nice. Should we have a look at what it says about spark towers? Um, this one? Spark tower. Private field notes. Dr. Everett. Date unknown. Plasma-powered spark transmitters combining previously obsolete coils with limb-enhanced repeaters have proven to be the best way to boost signals throughout the zone. The constant increase in radiation and electromagnetic interference has made radio communication extremely difficult and often subject to bizarre distortions. These new modified coils appear to have solved that. The addition of local plasma power sources is a reliable way to keep each node within this vital infrastructure both operational and independent. However, the price we have to pay is constant maintenance and repair. They're demanding beasts and burn through components rapidly. If key resistors and capacitors are not regularly replaced, they quickly develop a habit of either shorting or even releasing constant high-voltage low-current discharges into the immediate vicinity, which is exactly what they're doing. And it's rude. Right, let's... Uh... Turn it on. What's my fuel gauge? There. Okay. 40.8, by the way, is my battery level. You know what, let's, um... Put it in park and have a look at this. Is it this? Is that where we're going? Most of the stuff in this place. Look at that. We'll be here for ages. That's fine. It's our first go. Uh... You put it in gear. It's an, an automatic car and still can't get it in the right gear. That's one gear. No, this one I've already taken apart. Yeah. I know I left it in drive on the hill. He's going buzz buzz at me when I uh, get in. <laughs> I don't know why. Hold on a cotton pick a minute. What is this? Exiting stabilized area. That looks cool. 
How far out do you think we can go? I'm trying to use the map there, but it's raining again. Pockets of stability. The roads and junctions of the zone wind through the pockets of stability. You'll be reasonably safe on your drive as long as you can away from the edges, should you wander too far out of the pocket. And the weather gets very bad very quickly, and you won't get that far. <laughs> uh, the weather has got bad, and I haven't even left for very long. So... I'm perfectly fine with following the expected rules uh, and getting in. Look, I'll behave. I'm low on fuel. Well, not low on fuel, but I've used quite a lot just by doing this. A few, uh, a few what's names here. Look, buildings and that. Here they are. Let's stay on the road so that we can drive again when we get back. Whoa, it's just... What is this weather? The you know, ducks don't seem to care either. Why aren't you being blown about, eh? Locked heavy duty. This is locked, so those many, many simple locks can be forced with small tools. Fixed impact hammer. Oh, look what I have. Oh, that's better. It's amazing what relief being out of the rain is, even if it's just this little. No, you don't you dare. Stay away from my car. Not a whole lot in here, considering. Nice shelter, though. Take care. Limb energy in use. I've always been a fan of that poster that says, This machine has no brain. Please use your own. Feels like one of those posters. There's nothing in here. Hazmat cabinet. Just pry it open, what could go wrong? Yeah, there's another one up the way, and then some sort of maybe a house? I'm going for a walk. I'm not going for a walk. <laughs> In this weather? Are you crazy? Ooh. Oh, missed it. Pothole. Well, look at that in shelter. <laughs> bit, uh, a bit much out here. Oh, hello. I was out here. Huh? I know how to use a pry bar. So we had a what did it say? Pothole. Hey, boss. So I'm out here working with Mira. Oh, no, man. Oh no. Uh, Mira and Tobias from maintenance, and I'm afraid I got some bad news about our gear. We've run into some trouble, and I don't think we're getting it back anytime soon. Sorry about that's off my first potholing job. Call me when you get this, or better still, I think you should just come down here and see for yourself. Our tools, our signs, our lights, are all taken flight, so to speak. <laughs> really, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. You should see this. You know how you told me you, you, we were normal people working in a very abnormal place? I think I know what you mean now. Fresh private? Sure. Uh, why don't you have that in use? Calm down a bit. Up. Orange paint. Oh, 
I've just got this door, I think. That's not happening. Lockbook. All right. Uh, I know it's inconvenient to lock everything away, and I know it requires issuing all of our staff, not just keys, but the right sets of keys, and then collecting and reissuing those keys the staff are rotated and reassigned. But... Please also consider the sheer volume of materials and resources that have gone missing these last few months. We've had rare substances and corrosive chemicals spirited away, compounds and catalysts vanished into thin air, even a whole cabinet whisked out of an office and dragged away by one of those, you know. And since these materials are so expensive, so vital, and sometimes, you know, state secrets, I'd rather we start locking more things up. You got that? Something glowing now. Ah, I'm looking at this lock again. You can scan everything, by the way. Like relevant records, something, something. I think this is just storage container, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's that one. Look, chat. Ooh. Hello. Bit weird. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, mm. Not a fan of that. Look at all these cars and stuff. What's that over there? Whoa. Ah, you again. Jeez. Yeah, you take it away. Thank you. That's pretty handy, actually. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Uh, the right, the broken bun is kind of messy with car. I know that much. Which is why, that's why in this time it was in drive, because of that little joker. Um, I'm going to turn it on. And go away. What the heck is that abductor? I don't know. I'm going to turn around so I can see what I'm doing. Where are you? There. Okay. I'd love to explore in that area, but I'm scared. Okay, back. Still playing with the bunny, I think. Fine, 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 fine. fine. Because it looks like, look, if we just have a look here, that just ends. But there's something over there. Okay, maybe it just goes to somewhere we're going anyway. We'll have a look at that. There's something on that hill, actually. Now I'm realising that there's contour lines telling me to go up the hill to get to that house. Let's do that. Yeah. It seems okay. Can't see these blinking abductors through the trees. Through the, through the trees. Through the chassis. Beeping at me because it's on a hill. It doesn't like the slope. That's okay. I'll allow that. So it didn't like me uh, jumping into it and <laughs> bonking it on the side. It sort of bled in a weird, gooey, like, prey sort of way. Not even prey, like soma. There we are. Ooh, one of them things. Now, we haven't learned about these yet, but we're about to. Maybe, maybe we don't stand in the radiation and read about that. Uh, where was that? Broken bunny. FAO Dr. Lopez, something. I don't like this. I feel like an experiment. That's what I feel like. Like someone is playing with me. Maybe to learn about me, maybe just in the way you see a raccoon try everything it can to get into a trash can. Why would that be? Is this a response to the experiments I'm performing? Am I interesting? Am I a snack? These damn things that chase me and they leap on cars or the field equipment we set up and it's like they're playing. Please, Anna, tell me you're feeling the same way. Tell me you're seeing this. Nothing in nature is random. Evolution means that things in our world have function, they have purpose. What is the purpose of these things? What are they trying to do? Are things in the zone evolving? Uh, I 
wanted to read about that thing. Anchor plug is right here. Look. Uh, we have now com private field notes, Dr. Mensar, March 30th, 1970. We have now completed the process of standardizing and replacing all of the anchor mounts and infrastructure. These new mounts should be far more durable, steadfast against weather and atmospheric conditions, and resistant to any corrosion. There is, this has been a lengthy and difficult process, marred by endless delays. It is my hope that most of these mounts will hold for at least 50 years, but many projections suggest two or even 300. That's far longer than many anchors themselves. This was, I believe, worth it. As usual, I will be compiling and submitting a full casualty list by 1000 hours tomorrow morning. At that time, I will begin to notify next of kin. That was a hard won piece of technology, apparently. Hello, employees only. Lots of clothes in a dresser. Uh, do you know what? We might as well. What are you going to do? We need a bit more uh, HP, and I'm not going to take it with me, so... Can I open this? <laughs> bish, bish. Ineffectual flailing. I want to take that, but we haven't been told to yet. It'll be a bit of a sequence break, I think. Where's the car over here? Right, let's leave. Why does it keep beeping at me when I get in? What's wrong with you? I'm just going to drive past a lot of these cars that have probably got resources in them, but also <laughs> stopping and starting is a pain, so I'm not going to do it. We've been in this one yet. Still some electric in it, so maybe not. I'm guessing no. This is going to be less of a pain, so we'll uh, leave it off. Screw it. It does tell you if you've uh, actually read the log for something, so you don't need to scan it again. I wonder what is radioactive around here. I'm not a fan of it. Also, we should put things in the boot. Instead of just wandering around. Not doing that. Radioactive toilet, fine. Boing. All the things. One more thing. Bit of a bad way with that uh, radiation around, but that's okay. Get in the car and it'll be fine. Uh, again, with the beep beep. We don't need no beep beep. Plasma's very useful, but do I want to keep getting in and out of the car? Where is the radio station, by the way? Quite a long way. <laughs> it's stopping and starting so much, we're never actually going to get to where we need to go. And they're off. It's, explain your beep beep. <laughs> I don't like it. And why have I got a shield? What is this shield? Radiation shield, maybe? There will be something coming up on the right. Oh, hello. Pedestrians. Oh, 
Oh, you're Zaki. Boris. Uh, get in the car. <laughs> then read it. Forest. Hi, Christina. Hi, how are you? So, um, turns out you're right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and, um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations on the road, on top of signs. One report here says, on a roof. We spot about 600 now. The file catalogues each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about that other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We've all got plenty of data on that. So, um, I'm going to be applying for my for a position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here, for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work as hard a full time. You know, it's, um, it's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh, God, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. Right. Um... Yeah, like that, exactly. So I happen to know that you can do this. And... Lol. Should be able to get several of them if you do it right. Ooh. I got some stuff. Plastic. They're made of plastic? I'm gonna have to eat something in a minute, huh? Nice. And let's get out of the radiation and then go and have some food. I don't think I've got any to eat on. No. Uh, so I was like, rawr, what are you doing? Not how it works, rawr. Mm, something, yeah. Okay. Let's avoid this cluster. Oh, a gas station. As promised. Considering I've been leaving the flipping um, car switched on. That's kind of handy. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm greedy. Let me have all the things. Loot goblin. And then um, gimme some of this. I believe that, yeah, hold V to eat the thing. Just give me some HP, shut the thing. What was that? No? Turn this on. Might have to go and have a look in there as well. Do you think there's any actual, you know, gas in the gas station? Crash. No. <laughs> you don't own me, okay? Can't get fuel in here, look. Shut up. Alarm. Is that just a reflection of my <laughs> impact hammer and nothing else? Weird. Oh, take all of this. Actually, you know what? Just keep that. Oh yeah, there's an MRE. Meal rejected by the enemy. I have a good authority. Well, let's go over here and have a look in this house. Uh, hello? Break into a house, what could go wrong? Don't know if I need all that food. <laughs> but I've taken it, so there you go. Uh, break, take that, yeah. Why is there a flashing light that's scary? Did you put all that duct tape in the bin? What is wrong with you? Hmm. 
Is it just that light that's doing it? Maybe. Alright, moving on. Arda will walls are a tomb. Arda walls are a tomb. Did you know? Right, car on. Let's go. I turned it off again. It's <laughs> not how driving works. I could be breaking down all these cars and getting all this scrap, but um, let's get through this. It's already been an hour and a half. So, we'll, um, yeah, we'll finish this off. Should be a little track coming up. And no doubt there's going to be a lore dump when we finish off properly anyway. So. Are we on the track? I think we might be on the track. That makes sense. Are you not? Oh dear. Get out and give it a quick scan. Hot dust. Alright. Not as bad as it seems. I think it might be hurting the car though. Ow, 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 Take a headlight. <laughs> no, there are any. Broadcast transmitter. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. My pretty little head. My pretty little head knows more than you could possibly imagine. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I have no idea. What's going on? Shush. Right, get in the car. Look at the machine. So this is what we saw before. There was one on that hill, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Okay. The train is pulling out the station. The wind is blowing us away, somebody. Stop this boy. I'm making it. This is how cars work. Ooh. Thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey. 
and the back of this breacher's head when I send them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you have <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine, stop crowding yep. my frequency. What? Wait, really? Hoppy, darling. You never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, y yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> hey, he is old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. Still a role model. I'm giving you ten seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay, uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, and what... Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. Recently. Recently. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Oosh. You have to click to do that, but it's E to do everything else. Zoop, zoop. The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it Whoa. will immediately collapse the stability of the boundary. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. I'm vaguely ready to leave, huh? So. These are the gates. I can click it to open it, but I can get more limp, is the thing. Right? This is what I know. I don't have to just get one and leave straight away. But it's not necessarily a good idea to do so. Because I'm going to need this juice that are in these balls. It's orange juice. <laughs> Uh, bit vined up there, mate. Bit tangled. It's fine. Need a guide. Whoa. I'll just tank this uh, <laughs> energy, this radiation. Let's slowly. Ooh. Ah! Wrong side! It's slowly killing me. Uh, it's fine. Did it go wrong? I did it again, look. Get out of here. Let's pick up some food. Put this away. Close this. What? Get shut. No. Shut the door. There we go. Right. Eat some food. Delicious. Put it in drive. And get out of here. I'm going to drive to the other two places. Get all the limb I can. Get all the energy I can. And then uh, we'll open the gate. Come back to this last one and open the gate. How about that? Oosh. Now this is radioactive me the whole way back. So parking far from the thing is not in necessarily in your best interests, <laughs> but also it was up a hill, so getting closer was a bit of a faff. And since I can sprint forever, I might as well put it in the thing. Thank you.
Very unstable there. Get in the car. Now, what we do is we look at the machine. We go, right, I will turn the gate on, please. Boom. <laughs> and then it says drive, which means we get the hell out of it. Where is it? Oh, jeez. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Avoid these machines that are trying to yeet it into the sky. It's funny because no one had a car, and yet we're supposed to drive. Like, if you didn't have a car, how would you do any of it? I guess you wouldn't do any of this, right? <laughs> oh dear. I'm having trouble controlling the machine that I am driving with fast speeds. I think I'm electrified. I have a lightning cloud on my dashboard. I did get a bit close to that, um, that spark tower, I suppose. Well done, everybody. We're back. Oh, well, well. You're alive. We're certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first... Sounds like I should drink it. <laughs> I mean, we have rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. Think. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Mm -hmm. Now... Take those parts you found into the I have marbles. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct I ways to bring look. up anything from roof racks to flare guns. That was on the correct side. With those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my head and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Asmode. Hooray! Well, do you know what? This has been a long time. I think that will probably do it for this episode. We'll sort out everything that we were just told to do in the next one. But until then, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that you'll join me next time. I'm enjoying playing this game that I've enjoyed watching people play. So I hope that you're enjoying watching me play it and maybe you'll pick it up too. Not sponsored, but you never know. Maybe if enough people get interested. Uh, but yes, thank you for watching and until next time, I will maybe do some things off camera and I'll see you then. Bye!